What is up guys, it's your boy KS Lang with the brand new video here on LEGO Harry Potter Part 5 I think it is already and yeah we're going straight through with the story here as well because there's nothing we have to do, there's no um, lessons we have to do anymore, we actually know everything for this year so we're going straight through it, I speed it up a lot just so you guys see where we are going but at the same time it's not really that important so I speed it up and there we go we have to go to Hagrid's house and there we go we will get into this cutscene that is also from the movie I don't even know where the unicorn, the unicorn came from I don't think that's from the movie but yeah sure I mean whatever so basically this is the introduction that um, I think Malfoy is there to spy on us to see what's happening over there but in the end it brings him into trouble he has to go with us through the woods because we want to know what is happening in the woods so there we go we go and take a look with Hagrid and the rest of us but of course we decide that we are going to split up soon in a moment but there we are we see basically nothing and that's where we are going to split up and that's where the mission is about to start actually we see first Harry Potter that's right he's seeing a Voldemort there he's about to eat a um, unicorn to get some power and some strength to even gain a body because he's not capable of getting a body yet so this is what we see here and then obviously Harry Potter warns the rest of the team. So here we actually do end up finally starting the mission. And yeah, there are some new monsters like wasps that we just have to kill. I'm playing as a dog here, but I quickly changed to Ron to be able to use some magic to basically kill those wasps because they're kind of getting annoying to me. So nothing really much happens in this game. We just basically destroy everything. We get the money and we just... Yeah, we tried to get as much money as and stuff as we can just for the free play um, later on in this um, series. But yeah, for now, I'm just getting all the money. As you guys can see in the back, there's already the kid that we are going to save. In just a second, all you have to do is sh uh, shoot your lights on him. Uh, you can see Hagrid trying to do that with just a normal spill, but of course he doesn't have the light. We do, so we shoot it, and there you go. We help that student. And yeah, for the rest of it is just you have to shoot those um, yellow flowers that you see here right in front of Hagrid. You have to shoot those. We don't do it instantly, but we will in a second. And all the timestamps of all these flowers are also down in the description for you to check out if you just missed one of them. And then you can see where we found ours. Um, a lot of this stuff is also with dark arts, which we can't solve yet, but we will have to in the free play. So that's why a lot of the collectibles really are not that um, obtainable in the story mode. So we are just trying to, as, as I said before, trying to get some money. Um, yeah, there's nothing really much I can say to this. We just keep shooting everything and keep killing everything that we see and, and break everything and pick up the studs and I don't even have any studs anymore because I died and there I finally shoot the yellow flower the first one of the three of them and then we will continue with the story by going up these uh, this letter actually and I see that there is something for the dog to scratch and give us the opportunity to go through with the, with the story so my sister goes to the dog places it and then just opens it um, well yeah scratches the ground so the little men's over here that you can see those little brown men they just make a ladder and there we go we can continue on with the storyline so we are gonna go up there in just a second I think maybe I'm first gonna be wasting some more time just walking around looking for more stuff to break while there's actually nothing to break anymore I'm really trying to play as careful as possible oh I do actually find a we do actually find up something that we can break, but there we go, we're finally going to continue. And there is a second flower that we will shoot as well, and that will be the uh, second last already. Here I get stuck into this plant, which is pretty annoying, but we end up shooting it. So it breaks, and I first killed the um, wasp, but by killing the wasp I also had the third flower, which you can see in the back, there is the Hufflepuff. Uh, house crest 
piece so we go grab that and yeah now we're just gonna continue with gaining a little more money because once again that's all we really are capable of doing here just getting as much money as we can really um yeah so we just do that and we make our way to the true wizard status and obviously also making our way continuing the story to go and save harry potter that is in danger and you see that i'm just really breaking really everything I'm, I'm looking as much as possible i'm looking for anything that i can break i mean yeah it's just i i'm, I'm even trying to get every single coin like it's that important but as like it's it's very important to get as much coins as you as you can because you really need some of that um, for later on in the story to get the multiplier um, red bricks and stuff that we will be able to get a lot more money a lot faster. You already see that my sister actually gets stuck in this green legs kind of creature thingy. I don't know what the fuck that is supposed to be actually. I think that's just a living plant I guess. But I end up saving her by killing it and there we go. We're breaking the rest of the stuff that we can find here. I once again will go back just looking around for nothing because there's nothing I can break anymore. There are just some plants, yeah, sure. But beside that, there's really nothing I can break anymore. So, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, I'm just basically wasting my time here. And then I end up going and continuing into the story, going into the next part of um, the story. And there we go. We have to just here we just have to destroy all the, once again everything and have to use the lights to open up that door well that path basically towards harry potter here but first we're going to break everything try to get as much money before we even continue with that so we do we break everything before even opening the door and yeah there's really not much we can do here because once again all the actual stuff that, that is con like that is um containing any of the pieces or the character tokens are dark uh, magic which as i said before we can't use it yet so we just have to sit here and kill those plants and yeah just waste more time so that's really all we do because there's nothing else we can do as i said we're just gonna destroy these um pedos pedos whatever you want to call them i have how do you shrooms that's how you call them yeah shrooms so we're destroying those shrooms anyway, guys, i'm not cutting anything out i'm just talking whatever i'm thinking in the moment i'm recording this so yeah if some things don't make sense or my english is uh, fucking bad you get why anyway we continue and we go into the next part actually i thought it was already the last one but it's actually not we are actually doing a another part here once again we're gr we're killing these green plants that are in the ground trying to grab us or well hurt us and then we see that there's this um box with a metal um lock on it but we can't break that because we don't have the spell for that yet we haven't learned that yet so we're just gonna continue breaking everything to get more money as we've been doing this entire mission so far and we will try to get this purple stud i will try to be building up a kind of stairs not really stairs because it's not it's not gonna look like a stairs at all but i'm trying to get like this little way up there obviously as you can as you guys can see i can't get myself up there so i put the green one also on top but it also will actually not be enough. You will see that in a second when this block actually wants to go in. Seems like I just can't make it go in there. And I do end up getting it in. But as you guys can see, I can only get two of the blue coins. I could probably get the third one as well. But I'd rather just wait for my sister to get on top of the blocks. I'm telling her to do that. We're working together on this one. She's struggling and jumping. But we, find, we finally get her up there and then I... Put the yellow block on top of that so she is capable of getting even higher and grabbing the purple and blue coin and then we put that weird looking stairs right there to use it as a way to get up there i know it's the most stupid thing you probably have seen but yeah i'm not willing to make an actual stair so i'm just making this thing lay down so we can basically get on top of it 
And so there we go, we go on top of this. There's this black magic ball in the background, as you guys can see. Once again, something we can't break yet. So we just are gonna waste our time once again breaking some more stuff. While my sister actually makes the water get drained, because that's what we need to do to continue the story. While I'm just breaking everything and getting some more studs. And yeah, I'm just once again killing a green little thing here. Actually, he, it's about to kill me if I keep walking into it. But yeah, we do end up seeing that there's another lock down there on my sister's side of the screen. You can see that there's a metal lock once again that we don't have yet. So we can't be um, actually opening that yet. And now we see down here that Hermione is doing the first of the six fishes. The second one and the third one. And then I start doing the other ones in just a second. There you go. They will make a Gryffindor piece for the house crest. There you go. And there we go. We grabbed it. So once again, some more dark magic pieces that we can break. So what we're going to do is just see if everything is broken. Is everything is broken? Yes, it is. So we just use the light to open up that, well, stone blockage, whatever it is. And that brings out a... Um, handle for Hagrid to pull on because he is the only one that can pull that. I think the dog can as well but we use Hagrid for this one. So there you go we pull up that lever and that brings up the stone more up so we can actually go and pass that path but now you will see the most struggling person ever. I will struggle so bad to get on top of that and as you can see my sister just ruins it even more by jumping on it and not even taking a time to relax she just keeps jumping so i try again i fail also miserably but there i go again i try to fix it and put it back in a normal way i end up getting on top of it i think this time oh no i don't i actually fall once again and now i do finally make it up there there you go and actually while hermione does the same thing the whole stairs just gets ruined and dog will be stuck there but luckily for us we don't need a dog anymore so he can stay behind which is kind of sad but whatever it doesn't really matter as i said because we can just continue without the dog who will just spawn with us once we go through the next door so here we go again conti continuing grabbing some money some studs killing some green plants as you guys can see normally i do something else with green plants but this time i'm just gonna kill them so yeah Anyway, here we are getting some more coins and yeah, that's really all we can do. As I said, this is actually already the last obtainable that thing that we get from this episode. The Gryffindor um, house crest was the last piece. Now we're just waiting for this tree to be built. Then we kill those green plants once again. And then I think, if I'm not wrong, we will actually go and continue on with the story by going up that tree and going to the red light, which is obviously Harry Potter being in danger. There you go, I put it straight so we can walk onto it. And there you go. I'm gonna kill that little plant that's in front of the door here because I don't want to get grabbed. And then there you go, we will go to Harry Potter and we will go to save his ass because of course he is a stupid boy who is always in danger it's literally every single time that he's in danger how do you fucking do it anyway he's feeling that in his brains because of that guy the Voldemort that hurts his thunder on his head so this horseman looking guy who's kind of flirting with the unicorn which is kind of cringe just is there to save the day and there's Voldemort again so he goes there and gets mad at Voldemort and Voldemort is getting scared once again and that will bring the level completion once again we get it unlocked for a free play for the next time and we get the two pieces we got the student in peril we don't have the true wizard I think you might you might need about like 70,000 coins or studs but obviously I died a few times so I couldn't get to that amount but yeah that's gonna be it for this episode thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos just like this and that's all for this one thank you for watching peace out guys